Hey guys, Jacob here and today I want to show you what does it really takes to build the next software tool for Amazon. So it doesn't matter if you're Amazon seller, vendor, if you're running the Amazon agency or perhaps you work as an Amazon aggregator or, or like in a bigger organization that is also selling on Amazon and other marketplaces, it doesn't really matter. I just want to show you what does it really take to build a new Amazon tool. It could be internal or it could be a next SaaS. It doesn't really matter. Again, I will, I will show you what are the tools out there, what are the categories of tools, and I will show you development process from, from the beginning till the actual product launch. Let's begin. All right, so I've prepared this nice mirror board and I want to basically show you a few things here. All right, first of all, let's talk about the Amazon App Store. So if you are already in a seller central, uh, you perhaps notice that there is the Amazon App Store and there are different categories of apps that you can list that. And basically those are public application means you can sell them. If, if you have one of those, you are probably running a SaaS business. So software as a service, meaning you are selling your app as, as an access and then someone pays you monthly or yearly. Uh, and, and yeah, and Amazon basically listed a few categories. So we have product listing tools, product research, scout and listing, automated pricing, customer engagement, inventory and shipping, finances, marketing, and e-commerce management. The biggest problem with those categories is that a lot of companies, they just publish their tool among all of those categories. So they are not really helping. I will actually go and, and show you some of the biggest aggregators, software aggregators, that are having those different tools that you can list that, right? So let's maybe begin with the Carbon 6. So they are acquiring a lot of tools. They are a software aggregator and they have different tools like seller investigators, which re recover investments and get your money back from Amazon. Maybe they have AMZ alerts, which monitor your Amazon listings and competitors all the time. Maybe Wally Smarter. This is actually related to, to Walmart, but you, you got my point. They, they have basically different, different tools. We can go to the free calls. They have apps like Dimetit, which recoup and award Amazon deduct deductions, refund sniper, vendor central profit recovery. So basically all of those aggregators, they have very similar tools. Uh, the market is quite competitive and they have similar tools. Jungle Scout, for example, they have a uh, keyword scout, rank tracker, something for alerts, sales analytics. What else? Opportunity Finder, Helium 10. They have also different tools. They have like product research tools, keyword research, listing optimization, operations, analytics, marketing. I mean, as you see, they kind of are going under those categories. And now I want to tell you a little bit about the tools in general and about us in general. Before we continue and before I show you what does it really take to build the custom software, I'll tell you a little bit about us because I'm speaking from actually experience of building all of those tools, right? I mean, we are running Delta Logic. So we are a soft, custom software agency that is fully dedicated to building internal tools and SaaS solutions for, for sellers, vendors, agencies, aggregators around Amazon and other marketplaces, okay? We are Amazon verified partner We've built around 100 of different integrations and tools. Like we've worked with more than hundreds of clients at this point. We have a team of 20 engineers and we are basically fluent with the selling partner API and advertisement API, right? So both for sellers and, and vendors. We've done it all, all right? We are maintaining one of the biggest large-scale SaaS products in the community used by thousands of sellers. So I just want to let you know, yeah, a little bit of the information about building those kind of tools in general, okay? I just want to let you know what does it takes if you want to build the next tool. And I'm telling you, a lot of people actually decide to build their own tools. They have better ideas, they have different needs, or they are just sick of paying monthly for those solutions, right? So there are different reasons why would you actually want to build one of those tools. I'm not going to go deep into this right now. I, I just want to assume that you are interested in building your own tool. And that's why I recorded this, uh, this video here. So what is possible? I'll, I'll walk you through a free case studies. One is Acorn and regarding Acorn, I'll, I'll just play here a quick video from the podcast I did with the founder of Acorn, Greg. We saw the, the huge opportunity for, for the actual custom software. So mm -hmm. that was definitely a great match. And if I could ask you the question, how actually transformed your business, um, basically the system that we developed together uh, compared to 
what you had before. So the Google Sheets, some um, uh, third-party tools, manual processes, if you could just compare those two. Yeah, sure. So Acorn is profoundly helped with what, what we're doing. And it's done so really in, in three different areas. One, it's been very helpful with just time savings. Also with the accuracy of what we're doing and also with just assisting work with our, our, our workflows. So for time savings, the, the ordering process that we were using then compared to now, it cut that by more than half. It's likely more around 70%. The checking in of the orders. So when that semi pulls up out at your dock door and you unload it, the amount of time it takes to check that product in, that is a 70% easy time savings there. The, the process of, of, of doing your invoices, that has been cut uh, more than half. And then determining what items you want to get shipped out on a particular day, it's reduced that by by more than half. And then right now ab about this this product, actually, it is live. The software is basically live. It's for arbitrage sellers and wholesalers, business owners selling on Amazon. It basically, in, in very short, makes you run your business much faster and profitable. Okay, because you know which products are actually generating you money. You know which products to reorder, restock at which price point, right? The next one is a vendor BI tool, me and Phil from PLEC. We actually develop a tool together. There's a quick video I'll play here right now. So first of all, hi, Phil. Hi, Jacob. Thanks for having me. So I decided basically to brought you here because you are the vendor specialist and while we'll be showing our tool that we've built together. So again, it's a vendor BI tool, a reporting solution for all of the vendors that are selling on Amazon. I thought that you would be a great guest also to answer all of the questions that I have. So, uh, if you would use retail analytics to get this over, you would have to run a sales report. You would have to run an inventory report. You would have to run a traffic report and a net PPM report just to see this data uh, and then put it all together. Like you would have to download it into Excel and then put them all together. Like it's a lot of work, right? And therefore, like with this overview, would you have all this data at one glance? And this is awesome. I love it. And this tool is live. This is an analytics for vendors and for vendor agencies made in a Power BI technology, which is connected to the selling partner API for vendors and advertisement API, a great analytics tool in short. And then we have the Wunderpan. This one is quite interesting because this is the company that sells postcards custom made by machines, right? And we've built them the custom shop. This is actually a picture from their office where we did a nice workshop with them. We've built them the custom shop, which is already live, which you, which, which you can actually go on their website right now and, and you can order those those beautiful cards. Basically, they are all custom made by, by the machines. And the, the, right now we are working on a very interesting project with them related to Amazon and other marketplaces, but I can tell you more at, at the moment. But anyway, the, the development process is kind of similar. And those are just few of our clients. We've worked with many, many more. I have many, many other case studies. It just, uh, if I want to go through all of them, the video will be too uh, big. All right, so let's assume you want to build the, the tool. You might be either a seller or a vendor, or you might be agency or the aggregator. Obviously, all of those groups, all of you have completely different needs and you are looking to build completely different software, right? I mean, as I already went through here, it might be something for product listing, for customer engagement, inventory shipping, finances, marketing or e-commerce management. I mean, there's so many different use cases, uh, but it's just important to know that all of you, you, you'll come to dev team or freelancer with completely different needs. And this is also very important for this party to understand the different needs while building those software solutions, all right? Now, I want to show you a three-step development process that we go with our clients through. And basically, it's simple, but it's at the same time complex because each of those points, it's it's completely different points with sub points that takes a lot of time, all right? So let's start with the first one, which is the discover phase, okay? So what is the discover phase? So after the discover phase, basically we can define the MVP scope and determine the initial milestones and design uh, the technical and business architecture of the system, okay? I, I've listed a few of the things that we deliver to our clients after the discover phase. So it's the feasibility report, MVP, scope document, milestone plan, high level requirements document, system architecture design, 
cost and time estimation and basic UX design. All right. So this is something that we at Delta Logic, by doing the discover phase, deliver to our clients before starting the development phase. And this can take from three days to even two months, depending on a project scope. I mean, depending on the project complexity, okay? Because if the project is around $10,000 uh, and it's just about automating few few things, obviously the discovery is, is very short. Sometimes we can tell you right away, actually, how to build the, the, the whole project. But if the, the project is huge, it's, it's something that will manage your whole business and then maybe perhaps you want to have a multiple accounts for your clients then obviously a discover phase will take much longer and the project itself will take much longer and i want to show you a little bit of the screenshots that i put it here from the uh, workshops with the clients that we did we, we do actually a workshop with our clients on site to many of our clients we really like it actually i mean we also do it online but it's just a little bit of the different experience so every time when we can come to our client's office or meet in some common co-working space that's how we do it okay now for the tech diagram i could send you at least 100 of them that we've built i just want to let you know that once we know the technical infrastructure we develop those tech diagrams as a one part of the of the offer right so we know how to build the system afterwards and then we have of course the we have the basic ux design and the workflow chart of, of the processes again I just gave you here a few of the examples of the wireframes and the mirror boards also with additional user journeys, user stories, just so you know that we are going through all of this in the first initial discover phase. I won't include any of the actual document that comes from after the discover phase, but now at least you have some of the understanding that you are getting what you pay for, right? And, and you have the actual plan to move forward with your project. So once we are done with the discovery phase, we know what you, what to build, we know how to build it and what it will cost, right? And how long it will take, it's actual time to, to develop the software. And obviously development phase, this is the, the, the longest phase. This is how, this is basically, it, it can take from one month to even two years, right? If the project is literally huge, it's like building a house or building a hotel, right? It really depends on the size of the project. And then of course, I want to mention right now there's ongoing maintenance and development, right? So a software never really ends, right? I mean, once you build the software, you always want to add additional features. It's like it's like building the, the company. You always want to grow, you, you want to grow with it. So if you build the software for your company, obviously there will be a new features to, to fulfill your needs. And at Delta Logic, we actually take care of this as well. So we always build a long-term relationships with our clients because we want to be their technological partner. All right, development phase timeline. This is something that is very similar to many of the projects, but obviously it's not like copy paste to every project. It all varies of the complexity of the project, but let's assume this, that is quite standard project. So we will do the detailed UX, UI designs where you actually get the Figma designs. I again, put some of the actual cases here. Uh, this is basically the Figma designs based on the Figma designs. We are basically building the, the actual modules. But before that, we need to uh, set up the technical environment configuration. So all of the cloud stuff, right? So the servers, databases, uh, production environment, staging environment, things like this, maybe a domain. And then obviously the implementation. So this itself, this can take a lot of, lot of, lot of time. And during this process, what is very important is constant feedback, constant collaboration, uh, constant communication with the clients, weekly sync calls or bi-weekly sync calls, right? When, when working with the external company, you always need to make sure that you keep the good communication and the work is aligned with the actual plans, right? I'm, I'm right now speaking for all of you who actually work with the development team or a freelancers or maybe plan to work with us, right? I mean, if you plan to work with us, we have actual framework to guide you through the whole process uh, because we just did it so many times. And then you have the quality assurance QA, so testing the whole thing. Once the project is done, it needs to be tested. And many times also after building your features, it's already being tested, right? So it's not like we build it and then we try to test everything. 
the, the, the testing always takes time also during the, the actual process, but now I'm talking about the, the final project version, right? When the, there will be handover to a client training and so on, then there's also a final testing when also client tests the software and tries to break it, right? And then if, if this fails, obviously, there, there need to be some fixes and changes. And uh, yes, this process takes some time. I just wanted to show you uh, how this looks like. Some of the screenshots from the actual development uh, from our office here to, to doing calls with the clients nowadays in the remote work, some of the pictures from our office, right? So again, this is what it really takes to, to build the app, uh, to build the new tool for Amazon or other marketplace and then in the end you have the ongoing maintenance and development and as I said software breaks there there is always need to fix it there's always a need for improve it or deliver additional features and and that's what you should guys really remember while building the new tool that might be actually going to the Amazon market or might be a really a next big thing in the end of the video I just want to let you know that if you are interested, if you have any questions regarding the software development of the next uh, marketplace tool, let us know in the comments or contact us directly, contact at deltalogic.com. We'll be happy to get on a first initial discovery call with you and let you know how we can move forward and how we can develop your dream tool. That was it for this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and let me know what I should record next. And thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one.